Hi guys, it's me, Delacaba. Who making my first real public appearance as a mind squatch? Um, I wore I wore my short my my iron shorts because because I don't know you know I mean you gotta you gotta cover up in human society but who there he is that's the elder. He's the guy I have to talk to today through the interpreter. Um, that over there. Uh, He's he's one of the the people that showed up this morning. There's a couple of guys. See, there's one over there, and him over there, and I don't know how many, but they showed up this morning. Um, I don't know what that's about. Um, I hope I didn't mess up. When you send a message to the king, and he sends a whole crowd of of guys, <laughs> says, holy crap! Look at the size of him. Whoop whoop whoop! I don't want. To, who are you? Look at that dude. He's freaking huge. Uh. He hello. Uh. Hello. Ivan is bored. Ivan will work for big. Oh, okay. Well, pleased to meet you, Ivan. No, um, that's right. I've got some stuff I gotta do, but, uh, yo. Okay, I, I guess I'm not heartbroken. He's around. Apparently, he's a mercenary. But, whew, here we go. You must be the look. Come on, here, there's a message for you. Uh, uh, oh, it's good. Uh, thank you. Um, what is this? To Delacaba from His Royal Highness King Adam LED Light. Royal message. Progress. Uh, wow. Um, um, I, I, pardon me. I've got a. a can I, I need to read this. Wow. Okay. What's this? Wow. From the king himself. To Delacaba from His Royal Highness King Adam LED Light. Royal message. Progress on Project Noah. Oops. See, I've never dealt with a royal message like this before. Here. Duakaba, we are most pleased with your progress and hope you can bargain with the villagers. Tell them that in return for allowing us access to their land that we shall send a number of trained men-at-arms to protect them. I want your report soon. Okay, so these are who these people are. These are the men-at-arms that, that will be at their disposal. Um, I have had the royal wizard resend your chest. You will find it at the church on the second floor. I included something special for you. Please wear it in your next transmission. Ooh, I, won I wonder if he is he going to give me a medal or something for doing a good job. Your English accent is horrid. Yeah, oh. And I demand you work on it. Oh, man. My gift may help. Oh, okay. Well, that's everything, right? <sighs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's tuck this book away. Uh, well, no, I better have that in my hand, actually. I suppose that's that's the charter. <sighs> okay, here we go. The Lakaba, the dip, the, the, the Mind Squatch Diplomat. Um, I would like to uh, go upstairs for just a moment. I understand my belongings have arrived, and I'd just like to uh, take a quick look at them. Oh, yeah, that sounds quite all right. I'll, I'll, I'll let the elder know. You just go ahead. All right, uh, thank you. So up there it is. Okay, let's see what we got. Chest. Oh, it's my stuff. You know how what it's like when you're when you're away from home and you're doing stuff. You're on vacation or whatever, and you're you're not you're not with your stuff. You know how sometimes you miss your stuff. Ah, I missed my stuff. Oh, look. That's what the king sent us. Well, we got some things that might be the gift from the king. I don't know. We've got... Um, oh, that, that's a map. Okay, that's part of the standard package. Uh, and this is for horses. Oh, good. We've got some redstone, but we've got armor. I'm so happy to have some armor. We'll put on this nice shiny armor, and uh, we'll give this brand new pair of, of leggings back to the blacksmith along with the sword and the iron. We'll have to get some apples to repay them, but... Uh, okay, here. We've even got food to... Just stick some beef jerky in our pocket here. And a bed. 
Oh, and, and apparently I'm going to be here for a while because they want me to be able to make my house pretty. And here's the bow and the arrows. All right. Let's put it on. What's that? The last suit she'll ever wear. Oh, heck no. I hope I managed to get your diamond. But I know, I know maybe it's... Ooh, I look good. Check that out. Mm -mm -mm. Good to have my stuff. And this, I'm really curious about this, about this monocle, because I have no idea what this monocle would be for. I mean, it, uh, it's interesting to look at, and I suppose, wow, what just happened to something, I feel funny, get, whoa, that was weird. That was really weird, let's, oh, I say, I'm, I'm feeling quite rather peculiar about, about, Kind of nice, actually. What in the... Oh, oh my goodness, I seem... Ah, His Majesty has gives maybe this will help you. I see, I see. Oh, well. Wow, that was really cool. I mean... Wow, okay. I don't think I don't think we need that for negotiations. I, I think we look more spiffy in a helmet, but... Let's uh, not carry a sword. Let's... let's we'll, we'll carry the charter in our hand. That's what we'll do. We'll carry the charter so that we look all official and uh, whew, let's go do this <coughs> good day Argyle good day Elder I'm Dulacaba here to negotiate for King Adam Led Light and I would like to begin by saying oh stop that crap I ain't got time for it what do you want to tell him well, uh, if, you, if you would explain to him that we would like permission to uh, use this land as a passage uh, to come through and to build in the area to expand our kingdom and our civilization, and uh, we, would, we would like to have him sign this treaty and, and uh, begin to explore. And then I'd like to talk to you about interesting things in the area. Oh, right, well, hold on, let me explain this to you. He says that uh, he's well, honestly, he says you're quite hairy, but uh, he would be happy to have you and your people come to our land here. By the way, he says his name is Jerry, and uh, that, uh, yes, he would happily sign your treaty if there's something in it for him. Well, as a matter of fact, um, we can protect you from the zombie menace that you've been facing. Um, I think I showed my goodwill by by building in some walkways and stuff to help your people out, and uh, um, I should be talking to you. I'm sorry. Um, and uh, uh, we've got some very skilled soldiers that we could that we could place here to guard your village. You would be protected 100% from zombies, skeletons, even creepers. Um, and do you show our our good faith? Um, all right, all right. I can tell him that. However, you do realize that also means that, like, that's like an invading army. Well, we don't look at it like that. Well, all right, uh, I understand. It'd be nice to have somebody around here besides these guys. All right, here we go. Um. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, he says that's, that's fantastic. When did, can they get here? They're sick of zombies. Well, if you'd let him know that uh, they'll be here very soon, sooner than you may expect. And in the meantime, I would really like to uh, get settled and then come back and visit you. And I, I have to make a report to my king, so uh, thank you, Argyle, uh, and, and thank you, Elder. And, uh, uh, thank you, and thank you, and, um, thank you, and it's getting dark. I gotta go someplace here. Okay. Wow, we did it. Alright, alright, we did it.
Where am I going to go? I think... Ah, my chest is... My chest is up in the church, guys. Ah, wow, I'm, I'm just so... So excited that I was able to settle this treaty. Hang on, let's... Get on up here. Uh, excuse me, I, um... And, uh... Uh... Yeah, no. Uh, chest upstairs. You can put your bed up there, too, if you like to stay here at night. Uh, th thank you, I, I appreciate... Whew, okay. Okay, let's, let's get our bed set up. And... In the morning, we'll make our report to the king. Wow, look at this. This is some great stuff. Ooh, and oh, and a copy. I see how that works. So we have a copy for me and a copy that goes to the king. All right, sweet duplicate. At least it's not in triplicate. Must be magic. All right, guys. Well, uh, we did it. We did it. We, we successfully negotiated and now it's time for us to make a report well we're gonna sleep but then in the morning we'll make a report to the king and uh this is getting exciting minecraft i vibe see you in the morning oh what a beautiful morning whoa why am i so tall why is the ceiling so cl what is going on here oh my gosh Oh my gosh, guys, during the night, I became a full-grown Sasquatch. Let's, let's get out of this cramped little, little space. I mean, uh, I, no, I'm not even going to put my armor on. Let's get out of this cramped little space, and let's, uh, wow, look how, how tall we are. Can I get through here? Oh, wow, that was, that was difficult. I don't want to bother them, but, wow, let's get out here where we can see ourselves. Look at how tall I am. Wow, guys. I am freaking huge. I am freaking huge. I can walk right up and I can look right in the window. Oh, I gotta see something. I gotta see something. Hold on. Hello, Ivan. Remember me, Ivan? Wow. Yeah, you don't want to look at me, Ivan. You're really short, Ivan. <laughs> I'm driving and I'm short. Ha <laughs> I'm a giant Sasquatch. Well, that you know what that means, guys. You know what that means? The only way I could have grown into a full-grown Sas is if there are other Sasquatches, other mind squatches here in this world and not too far away. As soon as I get the report sent out to the king... I am going to have to, I am going to have to go on a search and see if I can find the Sasquatches that are in this area. Because I wouldn't have grown into a full-size Sasquatch unless there were Sasquatches around. Look how easy I can get up here. Wow, look at all those spiders. I feel tough. Let's go fight these spiders. There's three of them. Ooh, I'm not wearing any armor. That's right. Yeah. Marcus helped me. Marcus, who? Marcus? Hello? Who are you? Oh, you're Marcus. Well, hello, Marcus. I'm Dulakaba. Um, let's see. So there's Ivan and there's Marcus. Who else did they send? Anybody over this way? There's somebody over there. Ooh, Shorty, huh? Hello, Shorty. And who are these guys over here? Lewis? I'll bet you that other guy's name is Clark. Like in Lewis and Clark. <laughs> right? No, his name is Huey. Okay. Hi, Huey. And then... There's somebody over here, too. Oh, there's the there's the blacksmith. Do I got that stuff with me? Yeah, let's... Uh, oop, duck my head here. Hi, I'm, I've just come to put back the stuff that I borrowed. Just like I said I would. And I don't have apples, but tell you what, have some nice juicy steaks. How about that? There you go. Thank you very much for the loan of the equipment. Hua. That's that's her name, Hua. Okay, now this is Alex. Ooh, he's an archer. And Dewey. Oh, okay, so we got Huey and Dewey. Huey, Dewey, and Alex. And... 
and Truman and Shorty. Well, what the heck? I thought Shorty was over there. Hey, Shorty, what's happening? Shorty must get around really fast. Shorty must get around really fast. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm really excited. So what I'm going to do is... I, I don't know how I'm going to explain this to the king. I Does my helmet still fit? Ooh, my helmet still fits. I wonder I wonder if the rest of my gear still fits. Wow, I'm going to have to get used to getting through doors here. Duck my head. There we go. Uh, well, I'll tell you, that's crazy. Uh, I better say hello. Gentlemen, very good to see you. All right, well, let's head upstairs and... and get on the rest of our gear and decide what we're what we're gonna do here we got, we gotta make the report to the king okay grab my gear here oh gosh where's all my stuff where is all my stuff uh oh we've got a mystery guys well I'm gonna have to take a look around and figure out what's become of my stuff and when I'm done I'll be back to make my report to the king all right, guys, I found my stuff. Uh, come on over here, find a good spot to do this. Oh, hey, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe right over here. Ooh, this looks lovely. All right, and then let's see. Oh, gosh, the monocle. I got to put on the monocle. Hang on, there we go, monocle. And let's hold the royal message in our hands so that he knows that we've gotten that. I hope he's not too freaked out by us becoming Bigfoots, Bigfoots, Big Feet. Big uh, Sasquatch High Mine Squad. Mm -hmm. Okay, my flint and steel are working. All right, guys. Well, whew, wish me luck. Ooh, wow! Better eat something. Got going so fast. Forgot my breakfast. Here we go, guys. <coughs> Three, two, one. Broadcast. Greetings, Your Majesty. Delacobar here with the second report for you, Your Majesty, King Adam LED. Things are progressing well, though there has been a development I must say I'm quite rather surprised by. As you can see, I am quite a bit larger than I was the last time I spoke to you, to you and, and quite frankly, I, I have a beard. Um, I... I'm somewhat startled by this myself, but it does mean something very important, Your Majesty. It means my people, the Mind Squatchers, are here, or I would never have grown to full size. You see, it's the fact that I've been away from my people that's caused me to stay human size all these years. But in any event, on with the report. I have successfully closed negotiations with the villagers. Um, I ha and so the men at arms are sta have stayed, they have organized themselves, they have stationed themselves, and it appears that one of them, Ivan, is willing to accompany me should I need to go do exploring. I have spoken with um, the, the dwarf Argyle, and he has assured me there are many interesting things here. There's a temple apparently in the desert. There is just uh, a tremendous amount of desert in in the area, but there's also apparently a witch nearby. I'm not sure at all, but I'm very pleased to say that there is marble. There's marble available for our mining. Your Majesty, I wished to to uh, take you to the location of the marble mine, and I'm pleased to say that the village elder has agreed. Oh goodness, skeletons! And I'm not armed. Pardon me, Your Majesty. Let me just back away here for a moment and get my sword. And I'm afraid I shall have to put on my helmet to be safe, Your Majesty, but I hope you understand that. Let's go do our duty and protect these villagers. Ha! Ooh, magic bow! No, creeper, creeper, creeper! Ah! Ha ha! Well, at least he saved us from the skeleton. Ooh! Oh, Your Majesty, as you can see, the frontier is very dangerous. Ah, there's one more. Charge! Bet you've never been whooped on by a mine squatch before. Oh, sorry, Your Majesty, I get I get excited. Now, where where was I? Oh, yes, I, I remember. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, just one moment. So we are about to make our way over to 
to the site of my future excavation, but I, I really think it would be untoward for us to leave that uncut like that. But let's go, Your Majesty. I, I do believe it is over in this direction. I'm afraid there's not a bridge installed yet, though we will certainly install the bridge in the near future. Just make sure I have my sword and we do not know what we may face here, Your Majesty. But right over here, just a short distance away, is this magnificent system of caves. And as you can see, Your Majesty, right down there, right in the midst of it even, you can see that, that there is limestone, and, and that, Your Majesty, is marble. It's absolutely marvelous. I can't believe I said that. Ha <laughs> ha, what? And so, um, I'm going to do several things, Your Majesty. I'm going to choose a horse and break it for my riding, though I think, quite frankly, I'm going to have to find a quite strong horse to bear my size. I'm going to explore the region, and once I have done so, and found out what is close by, I will then, s of course, send you a message and hope for a priority report during that period of time. And so, Your Majesty, I appreciate you taking the time to, to listen to me speak about my, my condition as a mind squatch, as well as uh, I hope you can see that my, my prowess as a warrior is, is a tip-top as always. Hey, say what? And so, uh, with this, I sign off to you, Your Majesty. I shall speak to you again soon.